excited. Yeah, thank you. I um, found out it, about it through a friend who had mentioned something and I started just trying to learn about it. And um, I, I just felt really called to want to do it and try it because I've tried so many different cleanses and different detoxes. And I went to school because I struggled with my own health. So of course, I'm naturally wanting to find answers and get to the root cause. And I really align with um, cleaning the terrain. And when I heard the owner talk about that, I was like, yes, it speaks my language because I went to school for um, the, at the Institute for Integrative Nutrition and learned holistic um, health coaching. And I just felt like there was missing pieces. Like I learned it was a good foundation, but I still wanted to know how to like regenerate and heal and get to the root cause. And after that, I studied with um, and learned about regenerative detox. And that really aligned with me of like getting to the root instead of masking it or covering it up, even with like supplements. Um, and I've done several different 40 day juice fasts and things. And so what inspired me to want to do is uncleanse is when I heard people's stories of how it really helped like, like little Pac-Man getting up old stuff and helping move it out. And people who have done a lot of water fasting, I've done water fasting before too. And um, I felt like, gosh, I need, I want something to come in and help like clean internally. And so I felt like when I heard about Zen Cleanse, I'm like, that's what I'm looking for. So I wanted to experience it um, for myself. And I've done the rainbow. Um, and I think I did it in November, no, September. I did it and got really good results. I was like, I just want to try this to see if I want to share this with my clients and um, yeah, my sister did it with me. And so I remember after her one day cleanse, she was like, after she released was like, I felt this intense sense of happiness. And um, that was like, I was so happy to hear that because she's, she doesn't align with doing like deep 40 day juice cleanses like I've done in the past, or that seems so extreme. And it is a lot of people are not going to do that. And so this is like more accessible to help people like get results faster, but also like like it go in and scrub the intestines and like pull and move stuff out. And um, yeah, so it just makes it uh, like more accessible instead of so extreme, like stuff I've done in the past. And she's witnessed me, she's witnessed healings happen, but um, she just never saw herself doing those long-term things. So this is like a really nice solution for really helping that get, get things, get effective results in a shorter time. Yeah. Um, well, in the first one I did, I got big, long parasites out as well. <laughs> so I knew like there was still more in me. That's why after I did one rainbow, I was like, I know I'm going to want to do another one because if I'm getting all of that out that much, there's still more. And so I ended up doing another one. And then I got such good results with the rainbow and feeling like so much lighter. And it was way easier to do a water fast taking the enzymes because you're getting the nourishment from that and it's helping move things through. Um, so I decided to do another one and I was like, I wanna experience all the kits because I got such great results with this one. So I'm, I'm actually in the process of doing the liver, the lung and um, the blood and lymph. And um, yeah, it's, I'm having a great experience so far. I'm still in it, but, um, but yeah, it's the, the, the kidney and the lung are less intense than the colon and liver, but, um, but still I feel the effects. I've gotten like tonsil stones out. I don't know if you've ever had those, <laughs> but um, yeah. So and when my body goes into detox, it starts to push everything out to the surface. And so if we can give our body the right conditions, it just helps to expectorate the stuff that it's trying to push out. And so that's why I am in alignment with like cleaning the terrain to allow the body to self-repair because the body is the healer. If we just remove the obstructions to whatever is congesting it. And so this is such a helpful tool to for people who are wanting to go that deeper step um, to transition into this. Cause I feel like if you, you know, do this deep work and then go back to old ways, it, you know, your results won't be as good as if you like transition in a way where once you're done, you're gonna eat healthier in between. And then when you, you know, in between cleanses, you just can go deeper and like get to deeper things like you're sharing um, with more stones and stuff coming out. So yeah. And removing the obstructions is such a key to that. And I love that you brought up the emotional stuff because actually that, you know, doing the cleanse, doing the rainbow, it, it makes you take a great pause in so many ways because you're slowing down all the areas of your life because you have to, because you're now tending to your body in a way that maybe you didn't give it the attention before. Cause I cleared my schedule for that week and just wanted to feel, and I, yep, you do have to feel it to heal it and like go through it. And, um, I also feel like back in September when I did that, it opened up 
other areas of my life. I didn't know I needed to focus on like old belief systems or different emotional things that were, I didn't even know I had. And so that gave me the opportunity to, yeah, sit with it and actually be okay sitting with it or when things were uncomfortable to allow the space for that to come through instead of my old patterns was always run from things or push through it or not listen. And so this, yeah, I felt like the week was like a great pause for me to actually like feel. And then, yeah, a series of events happened after that, but I couldn't wait to come back to the deep cleansing and start start again because of how profound that week was, um, which initiated all these other things to, for me to be open to receive and feel it instead of old patterns. And so, yeah, it was a good initiation into like deeper, deeper work for my own body and to, to remove the obstruction so things can flow in all the ways. So I'm curious about these tonsil stones that you released when, when in your cleanse or like what cleanse did that happen? Um, it started at the end of the rainbow and then I noticed it even with the lungs. So I feel like it was like breaking up something. And then I, I would, you know, have you ever swallowed and you felt like something was like stuck in your throat? So I'm very familiar because I, I, this actually happened when I did my 40 day juice fast past, I would get like, oh my gosh, I got 20 stones out one day. Cause your body starts to just like purge what's not, you know, the lymphatic system just pushing it out. And so, um, yeah, I, I mean, I'm very familiar with how to get them out because I'll like do something with my throat or I have this like, um, it's not like a water flaster, but this water thing where I'll like spray it into it and it will help get them out faster. <laughs> I know that sounds kind of weird, but, but it's, I felt like there was like something stuck there. So it, it's been helpful to like move it through. And so anytime I go into detoxing, my body's like, you know, it gets the mucus out. You want to get the congestion out. You want to get the mucus out, the mucoid plaque out, all the, all the, you know, waste out. Um, and then too, you feel lighter in, in all the ways, like in my throat and my voice, like, and my, like, I lost like 11 pounds of waste, I feel like, of stuff that, you know, I didn't, that I was holding on to that my body didn't need. And so your body just starts to come into balance. And I don't lose as much weight as I used to because I'm absorbing more of what I'm eating. So you don't like waste away and are, you know, so tiny, but your body starts to absorb. And I, and I believe, you know, if you can digest, absorb, utilize and eliminate properly, like that's a, a better functioning body. And so many people are having struggles with digestion and bloating and gas and constipation. And I feel like this just really cleared things up. So now when I'm eating things, I digest it better. My digestive fire feels better and more improved. So it doesn't feel like things are stuck like it was before. Closest exit. And so that's what we learned in regenerative detox is like your body is going to start to purge things as you give it the condition to like eliminate. Um, and and I like want to help people save their tonsils and, and their gallbladders. I mean, so many people are getting gallbladder surgery and hysterectomies and getting appendix out and tonsils. And if we just know these early warning signs, we can avoid a lot of those unnecessary surgeries for people who want to make a change. And I mean, they have to want to, you know, change your diet and lifestyle, of course, but, um, but there's a way, and I, I've met so many people who are like, I wish I would have known that I wouldn't have gotten them out, or I wouldn't have gotten my gallbladder out, or I would have saved my uterus, you know, um, all these things. And so this is such a huge piece for helping really get to the root cause and clearing things. I mean, that's an amazing story of how like the body is amazing. Even if you don't have your tonsils, it still wants you to heal. It still will find a pathway. And I've heard of people that have grown their tonsils back. So, so you never know. <laughs> um, I have heard of that. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And it's nice to have that place to come to, to get, support and yeah have people that have been on the journey like yourself that's super experienced with it and seeing the results and all the stuff that can come out and um I started my own healing journey for the physical and emotional stuff just came and so it, it does go hand in hand and sometimes if you focus on the physical it starts to move the waters right and so we start to feel more and so I remember like yeah being quick easy to cry even out of happiness <laughs> or like I just am more in touch with feelings um and yeah in this last one it just brought up like I said brought up stuff I didn't even know I was like I thought I did all that work but there's layers and so this you know it um yeah, it allows the space to actually like feel that and and move through it and and be with yourself to like know yourself more. And then too, when you start eating, you're gonna know what makes you feel good and what doesn't. And so, there's a beautiful way to you know prepare yourself into it and exit and and then 
make it more of that lifestyle shift that's really key and not you know fad diets and different things and back and forth yo-yo crazy you know extremes which I I've had my fair share in so I've learned a lot of like what I would do what I wouldn't do and why I um, do things in a more balanced way but also effective and this is what I feel like is very effective and balanced and not crazy extreme but very um yeah, very beneficial and really helpful. And I love that they do um, music with with um, making the fermentation and all that process is like you do. It is not the same as any other enzyme I've ever tried. Um, it's just not. And it's yeah, I'm just grateful for, yeah, all, all the work that goes behind the scenes to make it available. Wonderful. Yeah, thank you. And um, I was just going to say most people have, you know, grown up on a lot of processed foods and packaged foods and it all with the all the environmental toxins and all the things it's hard to live a perfectly 100% clean pure life with the, all the contaminants so it is helpful to do you know a cleanse at least once or twice a year and so this is such a great one to incorporate because it 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 really goes in and thoroughly cleans the waters and I'm all about clean like what we're seeing on the macro and micro is like the same like we're seeing our rivers being congested our oceans with all the pollution and I feel like that's happening in the waters of our body and so in order to help that it's it start, starts with yourself like coming back home to yourself clean your internal waters your terrain to allow yeah, the body to self-repair and raise your own vibration to to be the best version of yourself and yeah, come home to who you truly are and feeling, you know, good and vibrant in that way. Thanks. So yeah, thank you. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to continuing to share because I think that, you know, of all the things I've learned over the last 20 years, like I said, I was putting it in one place so it can really help people on their journey from like where do I start and how do I move into it and move out of it in a balanced way and get the support so yes thank you for all you do and um yeah your story has been really inspiring I've seen your stuff on this on social media and it's um yeah it's, it's nice to share success stories and so that's what it's here is we all just take care of ourselves and share our journeys because it might inspire someone else to do the same oh, I love it. yeah and I um actually like I'm smiling and like everything is great now but when I was doing the, was it the one day or the liver like there's times I felt really uncomfortable too like it, it's gentle and easy but also times where I'm like oh my gosh like I just and then when you release it it's like you feel that weight lifted off like you feel so much better on the other side but things can get uncomfortable when things get stirred up um but yeah and that's to be expected as you move through it and feel it and allow space and so yeah I agree with um, showing all the sides. I recently went through some heavy stuff and um, was sharing, you know, my journey a little bit about how I'm moving through that. And I feel like, yeah, other people are going through stuff too. And so if they see how you move through it in a healthy, balanced way and giving space for it, it, it just, it, you, know, you don't know who it's going to resonate with. So it's always good to just, yeah, share your story and share what's inspiring or what you feel called to share. And so just following that intuition. And every time I do that, it, it, someone reaches out and, and shares about how that helped them or impacted them. And so, yeah, keep shining your light and keep sharing your truth and sharing what lights you up and brings you joy because we need more of that in the world.